Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to integrate the tangent of x. Now that appears to be very simple and in a way it is, but again you need to know the trick. How do we look at that? Well what we're going to do is we're going to replace the tangent by what it's equal to the sine divided by the cosine. So we write this as the integral of the sine of x divided by the cosine of x times dx. Now if you look at the denominator and then you look at the numerator, you can see that the numerator is in, in essence kind of the derivative of the denominator. With other words, if we take the d dx of the cosine of x, that gives us e that is equal to the minus sine of x, and then if we place the dx over here, we can see that the differential of the cosine of x is equal to the negative sine of x dx. So when we look at the, the denominator, we see the cosine of x, and in the numerator we see almost the identical differential of the denominator. The only thing that's missing is the negative sign. So we're going to multiply the numerator by a negative, and of course then we have to multiply times negative again to cancel out that negative, so we end up with the exact same thing we started with. But now when we look at the numerator, that is the exact differential of the denominator, with other words, we can integrate this by using the natural log. And so this then becomes equal to the negative 1 from over here times the natural log of the cosine of x plus a constant of integration. Now this negative sign, we can, we can leave it like this, or we can take this negative sign and place it as the exponent over here. So this can be written as the natural log of the cosine of x with a negative 1 exponent, which basically gives you the inverse of that. So this becomes the natural log of 1 over the cosine of x plus a constant of integration. And then of course 1 over the cosine of x that's equal to the secant of x. So this becomes equal to the natural log of the secant of x plus a constant of integration. And that then becomes the typical format that you see for the integral of the tangent of x, and that's how it's done.